Viewers, we know that there is a lot of work for plastic surgery in today's world. And we remember the name and the number of this surgery, like the big doctors of the big country. But what if I tell you that the invention was first made in our country? How would you feel? Today, we will introduce you to the world's first plastic surgery doctor who is a pride of our India. About 2600 years ago, in the Vedic period, there lived a sage named Shushrut. Shushrut lived in the ancient city of Kashi in North India, which we know today as Banaras or Varanasi. In those days, knowledgeable person was called Sadhu or Maharshi. Such a wise Shushrut was. Shushrut is revered in Hindu tradition as a descendant of Dhanvantari, the god of medicine. Shushrut, who was also called the father of surgery, invented 300 surgeries and taught his students too. After all, where did Shushrutji get this inspiration and how did he make this invention? Let us know in this video. Surgery plays a major role in medical training. In ancient times, plastic surgery was known as Shalya Tantra. Here shell means broken yantra or sharp part of a weapon and tantra means maneuver. He got the knowledge of medicines from Maharaj Kashiraj Devodas of Kashi and he became a Vaidya. Being a Vaidya, he used to treat injured soldiers at that time. Seeing the condition of the soldiers in the war, he got the inspiration for surgery so that he could fix the broken parts or wounds of the soldiers through surgery. In those days, breaking the crest of an illegal crime was punishable by cutting off the criminal's nose. Shushrut invented the surgery of that time, which we know today as rhinoplastry surgery, so that he can reconstruct the broken nose again. Shushrut was also world's first Kai cataract and had cured people. Shushrut, who did his work with compassion and affection, invented scientific knowledge like surgeries at that time. Along with this therapy, he felt that he would need a lot of instruments. Keeping this need in mind, he invented 121 instruments for the treatments. And to do this, he was the first surgeon in the world to create instruments to be used in medicine, showing a new direction to his knowledge. From this, we get to know that how many great sages used to live in India. Shushrut wrote this unvaluable knowledge in detail in Sanskrit, which is called Shushrut Sangita. Shushrut Sangita reveals how he dissected a dead body without a knife and studied it. Shushrut has described surgery under eight heads. To Shushrut, health was not only a state of physical well-being, but also mental well-being, brought about and preserved by maintenance and balanced humors, good nutrition, proper alimentation of wastage and a pleasant, contented state of body and mind. He treated numerous cases of rhinoplasty, lobuloplasty and autoplasty. Even today, rhinoplasty, described as Shushruta in 600 BC, is referred to as the Indian flap and he is known as the originator of plastic surgery. He described six varieties of accidental injuries that encompass all parts of the body. Chinna, Bhinna, Vida Prana, Shata, Pichita, Khishta. Besides trauma involving general surgery, Shushrut gives an in-depth account of description of the treatment of 12 varieties of fracture and 6 types of dislocation. This continues to spellbound orthopedic surgeons even today. He also prescribed measure to induce the growth of lost hair and removal of unwanted hair. Shushrut has mentioned eight surgical procedures in his book Chhedya, Bhedya, Lekhya, Vedya, Asva, Aharya, Viksharya, Shivya. He used to keep the dead body in the water and let it decompose. And he used to spiritualize that 
body with time. With this, he studied the formation of the body layer by layer. This enabled him to perform caesarean, abdominal and brain surgeries. The advice written in the Sushra Sanghita came to the common people in the Arabic language in the 8th century. The Sushrut Sanghita was preserved exclusively in the Sanskrit language for many centuries. In the 8th century, the Sushrut Sanghita was translated into Arabic as Kitab Shasun Al Hindi and Kitabi Shushrut. The first European translation of the Sushrut Sanghita was published in the Latin by Hassler, in the German by Muller in the early 19th century. Complete English legislature was done by Kaviraj Kunjalal Vishakratna in three volumes in Calcutta in 1907. A part of Shushra Sanghita was written on palm leaves, is kept in the Los Angeles Museum of Art. In 2008, the Royal Australian College of Surgeons installed a statue of Shushrata on its campus. Thus, Shushrut Sanghita and his author Shushrut got international recognition. But with the passage of time, his name and his importance were completely lost in oblivion. Shushrut's statue is kept in many hospitals in India. He looks like Valmiki Jis to some extent, but very few people recognize him. It is very sad that today we have forgotten the one who showed us a different form of medical science at that time when there was no technology. So viewers, this was today's video. We hope you like this topic. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you.